Hello, welcome back to another tutorial. It has been a hot minute since I've last recorded a video, and it's very possible I said that in my previous video, but I don't know which order these videos will come out. Anyway, this video has been highly requested by many of you because Google did an oopsie <laughs> and has apparently changed how this process works many, many times. So, to keep things simple, I have provided a link down in the description where you can download this and that way everything stays the same and I don't get any more comments saying that's not how it worked for me, yours looks nothing like mine, so we're going to keep everything the same and then that way it's Google's fault for not updating a link. All right. Cool, let's go ahead and get started. Once you click the link down in the description, you'll get a page that looks like this. First things first, we will download the music manager and then we will come back to this later and you will need this link because if you try to find the Google Play Music for Chrome in the web store for Chrome, you're not gonna find it. It's not one of the first things you find when doing that search. You would think it'd be one of the top ones because it's made by Google, but no, that's not the case. But we're going to move on and get to the point of this video. So we are going to go to the Music Manager download page. I'm going to sign in. Once I am signed in, I can click the Download Music Manager, and this will take way longer than I want it to because impatience and whatnot. Are you done yet? You say you're done, but you're not. All right, so once it's done, we can open up the download file. Now we can drag the music manager into our applications folder. So I've added Google Play Music to my computer, and now I'm going to open this. It is an app I downloaded from the internet. Open. It should maybe show up up here. If things don't look the way they do in this video, aside from me clicking this little box, that's because of a app I have. It should show up along the top on a Mac. It'll probably show up along the bottom on the Windows, but you will need to click it if nothing shows up. If something shows up, good. But because I've had this installed before, that's probably where everything is gonna be screwed up. All right, I'm going to sign in for this as well. Hypothetically, the window we need should already show up. But like I said, I've had this installed before, so I think that's where everything is getting screwed up. So once I click on the preferences of the music manager, then I can choose my settings and all that. I can have it automatically upload songs I add to iTunes. I can choose specific playlists. Then obviously once the Google Play Music Manager has uploaded some of your songs from iTunes, they will start to show up in your Google Play Music. So I was really hoping this video would be more helpful, but something tells me it's not going to be. So if it wasn't, let me know in the comments below and I'll revisit this for a third time. But like I said, we need to go back to the Google Play Music for Chrome. I'll just run through how to install that, see if that helps you guys at all as well. So from the link in the description, you'll click Google Play Music for Chrome. You'll need to check if Chrome is up to date. Mine usually is, and Google Chrome should automatically be up to date anyway. Skip to step two, select Google Play whatever for Chrome, and click Add to Chrome and Add App. And then we can launch the app and apparently by having this installed then we can have a little mini floating layer for our music I believe so like I said I hope this video was helpful something tells me it was not because I've had this installed before so so like I said I hope this video was helpful but everything is probably gonna be nice and screwed up and I'm still gonna get all the comments on this video because everything was not how it will look for everyone else so anyways Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a big thumbs up. You can click right over here to subscribe to the respective channels, and you can click right over here to see my previous video. And as always, I will see you in the next tutorial.